Hello friends, this video on alcohol, phenol and ether part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now in the lab, sometimes it is required to find whether the alcohol is primary, secondary or tertiary. For that, we will use three tests based on whatever we have learned till now. One is the oxidation test. We have seen that primary, secondary and tertiary alcohol behave differently depending on the alcohol, right? Dehydration test. This also we have seen that uh, it behaves differently, right? Primary, secondary, and tertiary. And then we have Lucas test. That also we have seen that the turbidity which you get, at the speed at which you get the turbidity is different based on the primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohol. So let's see the oxidation test. See oxidation, we have seen that if I have primary alcohol, if I have one degree alcohol, if I do oxidation, Okay, let me make it RCH2OH. What you get is RCOH. That is aldehyde. If further do oxidation, you get RCOH. That is my acid. Right? So if you see, carbon count is same. Same carbon count. Right? It also same carbon count. Let's do it for two degree alcohol. So let's suppose I have something like this. If I do oxidation, I get something like this. That is my ketone. This will also have same carbon. But if you see, it is a ketone now. This was my aldehyde. This is my acid. This is a ketone. If you do further oxidation. You will get R dash C O H, or in fact, R only you'll get this is R dash, right? So, if you see this carbon is less, right? Because one is gone actually from here. Carbon is less, here it is same carbon. So, you see this reaction is a little different. So, here we are getting aldehydes, here you're getting ketone, right? And in this case, you are getting uh, carboxylic acid, the same carbon. Here we are getting acid with the less number of carbon. Let's try for tertiary. We have R, R, and R, COH. We do oxidation, generally it doesn't work, but under extreme condition only, this happens and it will give you ketone. Here also you see less carbon. From here only you can make out it is a ketone. Sorry, three degree alcohol. And here it will be the same process here. It will again be less. So, with these uh, observations, you can tell that whether a particular alcohol is primary, secondary, or tertiary. The next is dehydrogenation test. When the alcohol is reduced, sorry, it is not reduced. <coughs> we use reduced copper and heat, 573 Kelvin. So, if you see here, if I have primary alcohol and if I use copper with the heat, what you get is aldehyde. If I have secondary alcohol, if I use copper with 573 Kelvin, what you get is ketone. If I have a tertiary alcohol, let's suppose, or let me add CH3. Because it will be alkene, right? If I use copper at the same temperature, what you get is alkene. And this you can easily identify using bromine water test, right? So this is my aldehyde, this is my ketone, this is my alkene. This is one degree, two degree, and three degree. So if you see, Using my dehydrogenation test, also we can tell whether it's a primary secondary or tertiary. The next is the Lucas test. We've already learned this. Lucas test: What you do? You take alcohol, you react this with the HCl in the presence of ZnCl2. You get Rx. Now the time of appearance of this Rx decides whether it is primary secondary or tertiary. I told that three degrees is the fastest. So if it is immediate. Immediate precipitation, I will say it is 3 degree alcohol. 
if it is let's suppose 3 to 5 to 8 minutes let's suppose in this frame it will be 2 degree alcohol and if it is no precipitation at all it is 1 degree alcohol correct so with this you can actually differentiate whether it is a primary secondary or tertiary alcohol thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attend free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching